if you look at like things like reinforcement learning, for instance, you're not learning necessarily every time you get a reward, if it's the same reward, you're not learning that much. You mainly learn if it deviates from your expectation of what you're supposed to get, right? So it's like you get a paycheck every you know month from MIT or whatever, mm -hmm. right? And it's like you're kind of you probably don't even kind of get excited about it when you get the paycheck. But if they cut your salary, you're going to be pissed. Mm -hmm. And if they increase your salary, you're like, oh, good, I got a bonus, you know. And that ad adaptation and that ability to, that basically you learn to expect these things, I think, mm -hmm. is a major source of, I guess, it's a major way in which we're kind of more, in my opinion, wired to strive and not be happy, to be in a state of wanting. And if, you know, so people talk about dopamine, for instance, being this pleasure chemical. And it's like, there's like a lot of compelling research to suggest it's not about pleasure at all. It's about the discomfort that energizes you to get things to seek a reward, right? And so you could give an animal that's been deprived of dopamine a reward and like, oh yeah, I enjoy it, it's pretty good. But they're not gonna do anything to get it, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, it was just one of the weird things in our research is, is we I got into curiosity from a postdoc in my lab, Matthias Gruber. And one of the things that we found is when we gave people a question, like uh, a trivia question that they wanted the answer to, the question, the more curious people were about the answer, the more activity in these dopamine-related circuits in the brain we would see. Um, and again, that was not driven by the answer per se, but by the question. Mm -hmm. So it was not about getting the information, it was about the drive to seek the information. Mm -hmm. um, but it depends on how you take that. If you get this uncomfortable gap between what you know and what you want to know, you could either use that to motivate you and energize you, or you could use it to say, I don't want to hear about this. This disagrees with my beliefs. I'm going to go back to my echo chamber, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like what you said that maybe we're designed to be in a kind of constant state of wanting, which, by the way, is a pretty good either band name or rock song name, state, state, of, state of wanting. That's like a hardcore band hardcore name. Band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. But I also like uh, the Hedonic Treadmill. Hedonic Treadmill is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. We could use that for our, like our uh, techno project, I think. You mean the one we're starting? Yeah, exactly. Okay, great. <laughs> uh, we're going on tour soon. <laughs> this, is, this is our announcement. We could build a false memory of a show, in fact, if we want. Let's just put it all together. So we don't even have to do all the work to play the show. We yeah. can just create a memory of it and it might as well happen because the remembering self is in charge anyway. <laughs>